run for about a few weeks and it didn't sound quite right so I picked it up and had a look but I didn't touch anything and in the condition of the loco got worse oh yeah one of my kids toys Power Rangers if you guys are uh, born in the time I was in the 90s imagine you wouldn't remember Power Rangers god I used to love Power Rangers when I was a kid not as much as Thomas though Um, another old bit of track. Um, just loads of stuff. I did, I did warn you it's going to be a bit of old video just today. For this evening, a lot. A bit of old Christmas tree stand. Don't know why that's in there. Um, okay, there's loads of old pieces of double O track. And, oh my gosh. <laughs> I had this since I was a little boy. These little tunnels. I used to run my plastic train sets on top of these. Um, I still had a few dotted around, not many, but a few of them got broken before they moved um, down to Cornwall. But they are, they were quite an interesting design little pieces. This was from the Class 170 by Batman in East Anglia livery. Um, I had it in 2013, the year I got her when I turned 18, but she didn't sadly last very long. I don't know why. I think I was playing a little too rough for running <laughs> the layout too little too quickly. Um, a battery or a sandbox thing for the train. Um, a cable, I'm not sure what that's for. Uh, a broken paintbrush. Um, a switch point system. I'm not totally sure what that is. is. Um, it does look a bit weird, doesn't it? <laughs> right, okay. Um, we've got spare track, spare broken straight piece of track, but they are track nevertheless. Got some spare sleepers, so I might take the sleepers off them. Let's see, they look in pretty, fairly good condition actually. I'm going to pull these out and see if I can... Yeah, I might use these spare fish plates because they look quite handy. I screw with one of the track though so the track doesn't look very tangible at all. But the sleepers, the fish plates are even much better. They're saving you some money to get them online to get for, you know. Oh yeah. <laughs> this is from the Class 90 guys. Um, the very first electric locomotive I had was a Class 90 by Hornby. And um, <laughs> I don't know if I got a shell somewhere. I did have a shell dot around around on this table somewhere, but I haven't seen her for a while. I don't know where she's gone. But she was dotted around somewhere around here, but I think I put her away somewhere. Because she wasn't in the best shape. But yeah, that's the extra the body from it. Um, oh yes. The Class 350, the light strips, are uh, definitely very old. Um, what's down here? I see something big down here. What's this? Oh yes. Look at that. That's from must have been from a spare train wheel, you know, a spare A4 wheel I had. That looks in good condition. I must spare that for the other A4. Um. Oh yeah. You remember this fan, guys? Look back on the very first video I did on um the first locomotive I did for 2015. You will see this loco running around. It might not look much, but you recognise it from what these fans came off of, which is actually came from the 56, the first loco I had from 2015. Remarkable. I am going to bring the 2015, well, I'm going to bring back the uh, 56, I'm going to get a new one. And she can be restored again. Well, not restored, but you know, basically get a new version of her. 
I'm just going to do that because it saves me a bit of money and more money if I look after her. Over there, the, my new nice favourite Class 43 GNER livery. Very close call yesterday. If you watch my videos, they had a very close call when one of the locomotives or the training car actually came very close to falling off the track. I was, I've been shocked if that fell off the track, I really would. But anyway, I at least uh, sorted that out off oh, my neck. Um, another old motor, I think that's from the class 170 motor. Very old. Uh, we've got these things down here. You remember these? They basically climb your track onto a bridge. Um, if you're good at <laughs> storing your track onto the bridges and stuff, uh, yeah. <laughs> I took this from my Cornish ones. I thought use them as shells from um for a shelf for put my locos up on. And it worked for a little while but sadly it didn't last very long. Um I think this guy got quite the plan, which is slightly annoying. But this is his instruction manual for I'm not quite sure what class this is, being it's Batman. I didn't get much Batman stuff to start with, but I think this is the class 47, the original one. Because the original body is down below me, but. <clears throat> hmm. How am I sleeping now? Uh, much better than what I have been recently, but. Ah. Yeah. I think this is from the class 47, you know. Very old one. Very first um, model. So this is just uh, only half of this um, junkyard of mine. So old. Oh, and I'm old switch point thing, which basically stops the loco to going over the track. And you've got all those wagons to collect. What are we doing with these? Well, the rusty thing, the track itself is going, but the fish plates on them are really good condition, so I'm going to keep hold of them. So fish plates are the worst doing that one's that one doesn't have one on. That one does. So I look for the fish plates because I'm running short on fish plates and they're not they're not the most expensive things to replace but they add up as well. And sometimes it's just you know easier for um to just keep hold of what you can have, what you really got. I'm not showing this one because that's stuff I used to do, but that needs going to be. The <laughs> stuff I don't do anymore, which I'm glad to say. I have chewing gum now, it takes away those problems for me. Um, but not. Ow. Oh, ow. <laughs> my, ne my neck is killing me. It's not great, but. Yeah. Another food, good fish plate. I'm going to have to try to take them off just nice and carefully. Oh yeah. And if you guys remember, I used to have a remote controlled helicopter one time. Um, well before I had this big old table here. I had loads of stuff spare from a heli remote controlled helicopter I used to have. But obviously that was a long, long time ago. And since then I just have been adding to this table before I thought about anything else really in my life. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this commentator, this is from the Triumph 31, now that Triumph 31 which is a new version one over there which works really well, this is the older one which is in BR Blue, um, I don't know where her body was, but I still have the shell for her, she's not in the best shape, well she's in the terrible shape really, but she's um, these were the original stuff I used to use for Things like that, and spare wheels, nice spare wheels to come in handy, especially for the 350. They're exactly like the 350s. In that, in fact, uh, got it. I shouldn't have it. I only had a shower this morning. Um, in fact, these wheels are originally from the London Midland one. <laughs> happened to that? Well, that's a weird story, really. I don't know what quite happened with that one because. Obviously I was running it, and um, well before I started YouTube content stuff for people, and you know, for me making it for you, and so on. Um, 
I come into a few issues with that locomotive. It was because basically what happened was a loco, basically it was 150 to 185 pound at the time. It was a stretch for me to pay for, but I bought one and it was a lovely loco. You can still get one in that good condition, but you have to look around for finding it. But eBay do sell them. Um, don't don't go straight away buying something like that from eBay. Just be careful what you buy. And yes, I used to have old friends at school, and these are my old friends from school. And yeah, I do miss some of them because even some of my friends have got a long while at that school, which is such a shame I have to leave. But uh, yeah, some we didn't get a long while, but I was good. So it's generally dependent on the relationship you had with your friends at school at the time. Mud clay rock. I used to make the stuff out of the hillside you see up on the toy box there. This is how I made the stuff a long time ago. And another old motor wheel, which I think that's from the Car 56. A very old one. I'm being careful I'm touching in here because of uh, spiders and everything in here because the amount of mess is in here. And they do like sitting around these um, messy areas. So I have to be extremely careful. That's from the old 350. But anyway, I think I hope you guys enjoyed part of this video. I have to cut it short tonight because A, this is quite a lot of mess and B, there's a lot of broken in stuff down here and things like that. Also from the um, Class 150 and 158, they're all sneaking <laughs> broken. But I'm going to try to restore some of these locos, I think in time. There's another old like, I, wagon I used to get from the model only shop I used to live in maybe Gissy at the time. Just didn't last very well. Um, <coughs> this is a lot and lots of stuff in here. I don't know why there's so much stuff in here. I think at one time I thought it might be a good sound, but there's a sound logo here. Ah, hmm. This was from the, um... Yeah, this was from, um... Tornado. The the BR Blue one. And the, the chap who ever put that in for me was, um... Says to me, You sure you want a DCC sound this? Because some, you know... DC locos don't always like, well the motors don't always handle the pickups very well on them and true to be fair, you probably had a point there, they don't really always work really well but sometimes they do, it depends on the way how you do them correctly or not but we've got a street light there, it's a little bit battered around but pretty good and also just quickly to mention is um, you see those GMER coaches, the the, the uh, first one and then the second one is underneath the drill there. Um, it came from this place. If you guys want to go and check it out, um, links in the description for them. Um, they were basically what gave me those GMR coaches. They're really good if you're looking for some coaches. I got them through eBay. Oh my gosh, we got a. Uh, X body from Albert Hall, the original Albert Hall I had from from college. <laughs> There's loads of stuff in here. There's loads of old stuff that I used to remember from a long, long time ago. And my old um, mode control car for Subaru. Which, by the way, Subaru is my most favourite sports car, or my favourite two liter petrol car. It still is, but. They changed a lot, so much, a lot since I was growing up with them. And one of my part, excuse me, part of my fencing from the layout, which is insane. Um, I'm just trying to be careful moving stuff around in case I see a false widow in here. I don't want to get bitten by these things, but I just want to show you that all the old stuff I used to have kept in there for reasons or another reason.